Holy crap. I can't believe that. <laughs> Look at that little guy. Little buckaroo. Yeah. Bear. Even after a cold front. I is hungry. Hey folks, Glenn May here with BassResource.com and today I want to talk about a little pet peeve of mine. It's what I call the myth of deep water winter bass. You know, if you're watching this video, you've probably seen a number of other videos as well as if you're researching, you're reading some articles about winter bass fishing and a lot of times they say, fish deep, fish deep, fish deep. I've said it, fish deep, which there's a lot of truth to that. Bass in general, as a general rule, are deeper than they are, say, in the warmer months for a variety of reasons, but the main reason is the bait fish move deeper and that's where the bass are going to be. They're going to chase them. So yes, bass are deeper. However, I think a lot of people have gone to the extreme to think that the bass are only deep. They never come shallow during the wintertime and that is a misconception. That's my pet peeve is that yes, they do come shallow. There are times when they move up. For example, if you have a little warming trend, a few days of warm sunshine, you find a shallow bat pocket, what happens, the bait fish are struggling to stay alive during the winter time. The colder the water the temperature is, the higher the likelihood is that they'll die. They really get slow and lethargic and they start to die off. Just a few degrees temperature change is all they need to help them survive. So shallow back po pockets and coves and bays, that can warm up quickly if you have a little warming trend, that's the bait fish are going to go right in there. And that's, I mean, they're, they're going to be attracted to that. Well, like I said, wherever the bait fish are, that's where the bass are. They're going to follow them. So there are times, for, for example, if you've had that little warming trend, especially if it's warm rain, that warms up a lake, the surface of a lake faster than anything else, than, faster than just warm sun. You have that, <clears throat> next thing you know, bass are up eight feet, five feet deep. And, and they will hit faster moving lures, believe it or not. I've caught fish on buzz baits on New Year's Eve, 42 degree water temperature, but on the surface. I've seen them busting fish. It's like, what is going on here? It confused me when I first saw that. I didn't really think it was actually bass until I saw one jump out. And it didn't take me long. I had a spinnerbait tied on the deck and I changed and put on a buzz bait, went out there and made a couple casts and bang, caught some fish. Right? The bass don't always read the same books we do, and they don't have access to YouTube. So they do things sometimes that seem more unorthodox, but if you think about it, I thought about it later and realized, you know what? We did have a little bit of a warming trend, and there was this long tapering point that had some vegetation in there, and that's where the bait fish went, and the bass went and chased them. So watch for those little things. Sometimes during the winter time, you get those little subtle changes in the, in the water temperature and that's all it takes to move bass up shallow. That and there's also the notion that there are resident bass that just don't move deep during the winter. They'll stay shallow all winter time, all along. They may not be feeding on those bait fish like threadfed shad, but they'll, any perch happen by, gobies, things like that. They may have, be looking foraging for crawdads. They'll, sometimes you'll catch smallmouth or even largemouth during the winter times and their nose is all red. And that's because they're actually shuffling around the gravel in there, moving it around, looking for crawdads, and they'll be up shallow doing that. So you can catch fish shallow during the winter time. Just, that's the point I'm trying to get at is, don't draw an imaginary line, say 15 feet, and say, okay, I'm gonna fish deeper than that this whole time. I'm not gonna go any shallower. That might be a mistake. You may be missing out on a really good day. So keep that in mind. For more tips and tricks like this, visit BassResource.com.